Negativity can be like an addiction. Heal it by being positive and feed your mind good and optimistic thoughts only. Yo, can you go plant? Yeah, sure. Lotion Kleenex. Incognito mode. These are the ingredients to create the perfect night at home. Until Professor Utonium accidentally introduced cast to family room TV. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Tennessee. Hey, you looking for a boyfriend? No. Hey, shut up, fucker. That's why your head big as shit, Emily. You the asshole, you fucking. Alright, nigga. Yeah, oh! right? Oh! So you can oh! make fun of me, oh! but I can't oh! do that. Oh! What did you say? Where are you? Please, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> please, Mike. Can I have my hat back? Please, please, Mike. I'm going to give you a I talk about how I know gambling is an issue. You know, uh, my grandma, she lost, she lost everything to gambling. Um, everything. And I felt really bad, but it's not my fault I have better cards, you know? Um, and it was her idea to play for money. I just said it was play strip poker. Are we gonna make it? Bro, my mind is messed up. Where did you come from, Dolly? Are you here to be my new best friend? Hello, Katie. Wanna play a game? You want me to burn down the house? What's it? Jesus, Katie, no! We all hate when this happens. I was not gonna let it happen again, so I decided to take my wife to the hospital. And after a grueling 72 hours, I finally brought home my very own face protector. Hey, hey Daisy, you, you want some peanut butter? No? All right, that's fine. I won't give it to you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I read today about a 10 year old uh, girl with Down syndrome who was taken from her mother and put in a cage. Why, why? I read about a, a. Did you say. Who would win in a fight between you two? Me. Why? <laughs> Power. Wait. So who would win out of you two? And why? Me. And why? Brains. What? No, I'll accept that. Wow! Right, please, one word. <laughs> no, 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 no. How are you gonna beat me with brains? Brains ain't push. <laughs> hey, seriously, if you just tell me whose this is, I'm not I'm, gonna be it's upset. It's yours, I'm telling you. There's it's no other It's not mine. Tucker, what do you think? What do you want? Oh, look at that cute uh. little mouse. Uh. Guys, I'm going crazy. I swear this thing just moved. Oh. Hands up! Hands up! 
fuck? Fuck the floor. Get over here. Get over here. Bro, what? He hit me. Chat, try to remove these from my head. Honey, what you got there? Popcorn from Dairy Queen. Want to try? Sure. Mmm. Hey, okay, wait a second. What, what, what? This isn't popcorn, you idiot. It's popcorn shrimp! Oh, oh, I knew there was something familiar about it. Hold on. Where are the kids? Attention ADHD people. Hmm? Is that a guy? There's just a dude. Did he help? And they... Yo, this dude just like pulled a Batman on me. Kind of funny, there's a tour bus here. It always tours through my neighborhood. Hey, you guys know where I can find the rock? Oh no, little birdie must have hit the window. Here, you want some bread, little guy? You have a little bit of bread? Just have a nibble. Go on, get some nutrients in you. Get your strength up. You'll feel better soon, I swear to God. Look, if you just eat a little bit of this bread, you'll feel good. I promise. There, don't you feel better now, little guy? And now a 57 year old man who was caught speeding at almost 200 kilometers per hour a couple of months ago refused to pay his speeding fine claiming that everything he does is fast. According to the man he eats fast, he sleeps fast, he drives fast, he reads fast and he even walks fast. When he had to appear on court today he explained the same thing to a Western Cape judge who replied let's see how fast you can do a six month in prison. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> My apologies. I can't imagine that judge already in court saying, let's see how fast you can do that six months in prison. <laughs> What a way to <laughs> Julia, Terry, wake up. What's going on? So you guys know how we got your report cards the other day and they were really good? Well, I've been talking to your mom and we decided that this weekend we're going to Disney World. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, really? Yes, yeah. And we're going to Disney World? Well, we as in me and your mom, you guys are, 
you guys are going to stay with grandma. Sorry, this is not about the report cards, which were really great. This is about there's a new Lilo and Stitch ride that I wanted to try because apparently it's very realistic. But I'll, we'll like bring you guys back some, some like food or something. You woke us up at 3 a.m. to tell us that you and mom are going to Disney World? No. Oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. I woke you up at 3 a.m. because the house is on fire. What? It started with the whistle. So I just went to GameStop and they had Anthem for a fucking penny. Now, mind you, when I went to buy this, I was like, there's no way this is actually a penny. And it was a penny. Look at all the other labels down below this, though. The guy explained to me that basically one's pet, like, games just don't do well. They normally take them off, but then there's sometimes they just put it up for a penny. Now, mind you, this guy was explaining to me this was so bad as I'm rummaging through my little purse trying to find a penny that he just decides to pay the one fucking penny for me. <laughs> if that doesn't scream bad game to me, then... I don't know what does, especially if the cash register guy pays the one penny for you. <laughs>